today is July 24th, Sunday. It's currently 2.37 p.m. And I'm about to pack up my apartment. So, some of my stuff is already packed. Some of my stuff is already back at home because I took a trip last week or whenever it was. But um, I'm going to kind of give y'all a semi-empty apartment tour because I never actually gave y'all an apartment tour on this channel of this apartment. Because honestly, it, was, it wasn't all that. But anyway, well, it was nice. Don't get me wrong. But I have already taken down some decorations in my bathroom and in the, in the common space because I do have a roommate. But basically... In this segment, I'm going to show you a little bit of me packing, the layout of this um, apartment, and some moving clips. So, moving day is tomorrow. I go pick up the truck at 9 a.m. Well, first of all, I pick up my mother at like 5 a.m. I pick up the U-Haul truck and the trailer for my car at 9 a.m. The movers are going to come between 10 and 11 a.m to help me put all the boxes in the truck so all the boxes need to be packed by then then after everything is packed i'm gonna clean might show y'all some of that and get on the road make two hour drive well it's probably like two and a half maybe <laughs> three honestly driving a 15 foot truck um and yeah so this is going to be my first moving vlog i think it's gonna be part one because i got some other stuff i want to show y'all in part two but let's start with the tour so i'm gonna just walk to the front of the apartment and it's not <laughs> that clean right now let me turn on all the lights all the lights okay so this is the walkway so you walk in you have a closet here a coat closet which is already cleared out kind of this was our laundry room where the washer and dryer was and i kept all my rabbit stuff and my cleaning stuff and my vacuum that's my roommate stuff this was actually like fully decorated with a rug and everything, but that's my little entryway set up. Got this mirror. This is our little stuff. We had decoration at the top and then you hang your keys and then you sit here, put your shoes on, yada, yada, yada. Then this way you got the kitchen, ran out of space. So I had to put stuff at the top of the cabinets, but basically the fridge and once again, I am in the process of moving. That's why it looks like this. It was actually very pretty and decorated at first. But anyway, so this is my roommate stuff. The stove, obviously. And then I had decoration all over here. Then you turn this way. Try not to get the sink because I need to wash those dishes and put these dishes up. But this is our island. Then you pan this way for the living room. That was the couch and you know, the balcony through that way the chair and then if you go this way that's my roommate's room then we had the tv and the little stand right here but as you can see i already got boxes and stuff so back that way is the entryway where you enter into the apartment there's another mirror and this is my rug and my um ottoman and my little thing for my rabbits they are over there not going to show you that because their little habitat is dirty but basically, this is our balcony. Not gonna go out, but you can kind of see the setup. So then, oh, this is our pantry that we store our food in. My roommates, roommates, mine, mine, and basically all of that is mine. So then you go into my room, which is very junky, kind of, because I got stuff piled up right here boxes as soon as you walk in blocking the doorway more boxes um wall situation is this zoomed in I zoomed out okay i don't know tv i was watching lone fox um a little cube storage hidden over in the corners basically my little office you got a desk printer chair um bookshelf all of that in this corner pan this way window 
pan this way you got the bed the only thing that looks presentable currently <laughs> and excuse that mirror it was somewhere else but i took it down and yada 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 picture that y'all probably seen a thousand times this little setup with my papa zun chair this is considered my nightstand which is junky looking and, and you probably remember i had a big tapestry that said hello gorgeous right there but i've been took it down donated it it was time to go so that was the door we just came in got some stuff on that wall you walk this way the first door you have is my closet i think y'all have seen this before i really like my closet it's like a it's, it's a walk-in like you can you can completely walk in and turn around so you got this side from the floor up i utilize all my space honey <laughs> then you got this side as well from the floor up and then you also have this side from the floor up those are my posters hey hey where's your morning oh crap and hey future okay and then you got the bathroom which looks a mess because i already took out my decoration and put some dollar tree mats in here just for the time being so i can throw them away when it's time to go but you walk in you got a dirty mirror you got a little janky setup because that's what i've been doing for the last few days gotta take these shelves down i already took the stuff off nothing this way besides what's behind the door because i took the flowers down um all my lotions and perfumes right there for now gotta take that off and pack it up this is ha this has always been here because it has a bunch of products in it because this wasn't enough storage i do have stuff down here but it just wasn't enough storage and there's no drawers like this doesn't pull out so obviously the tub shower and then i had this storage thing as well so everything right now is just in the condition of how i've been living for the last few days but this all of this at one point was fully decorated i just never y'all probably see it throughout my older videos but i never actually did a tour so yeah so that's the tour nothing else to really show you because this is a two bedroom one bedroom is mine the other bedroom is my roommate i showed you all of the common space so now it's time to get to it everything that you just saw that isn't packed up has to be packed up by the end of the day basically so i got a lot of work to do and i might do like some b-roll of me packing i don't know i'm undecided um kind of like unmo unmotivated right now but we're gonna, we're gonna figure it out we're gonna figure it out <laughs> so i'm gonna catch y'all in the next clip
so I'm in my super packed car that has stuff protruding through the trunk coming through the back seat and my passenger seat is full because I ran out of tape while I was packing so I'm on the way to Walmart and I just realized I have to pick my pick my mama up at 5 a.m. from the bus stop so she can ride back to me, ride back to Montgomery with me. But I forgot I packed my car like this. And it ain't even a matter of unpacking the passenger seat because she still can't adjust the seat because the mirrors are coming through the trunk. So I just booked her an Uber to pick her up but I'ma still go to the bus stop so that, like y'all know when you book an Uber or Lyft, like they can, they know your location and you see their location and she ain't never did that before. So I, just to avoid that being a hot mess, like, <laughs> yeah. So I'm on the way to Walmart and yeah. Okay, so I got the tape. I got a four pack with good measures. What's on my camera? I don't think y'all can see it. Anyway, let's continue. Gucci, Gucci. In the club, trying to find me a bad bad Never find for the for the then I took her to the mall. That's all. That's all. Baby girl, that's all. That's all. When them bottles start popping, girls start jacking. The girls so fine that I took the chick shopping. Deuces on the old school, smoking on the stone. Fool know that it's a hit. My boys they hit the floor with dudes. Gucci man, Frank did it, got it like that. Never seen a chick with a body like that. Shout it, acting feisty, two down, slice that. Get with Gucci man, baby, you'll be so icy. Except this bracket because I don't have a plier. I don't have pliers to get this and this out. It's moving day and my eyebrows rough and my legs ashy. Because everything packed up. And I'm this close to the steering wheel because I told y'all before my back seat is packed. But um, it's currently nine o'clock in the morning. Actually the time of my U-Haul truck pickup reservation. But I need to go to Walmart first once again because I need some pliers, like I told y'all in the previous clip, to take down the rest of my TV mount. What else? Um, oh, and I need, I, <laughs> I kind of ran out of boxes. I just need like one more medium sized box, but I'm gonna just buy a bin instead. I don't feel like dealing with no boxes and like, taping that up. I'm gonna just throw everything that's small enough in a bin and keep it pushing. So once I get that, I might head directly to my U-Haul location to pick up the U-Haul truck which I'm not excited about. Oh, by the way, like I said, it's 9.04 a.m. My mother is not here. That's because her bus never showed up. And that's fine, as long as I get my refund for my ticket, because I bought it. But um, yeah, like the bus was almost going on like two hours late. And to be honest, it's not a big deal, because at first she was coming because she was going to help me drive. Like I was 
one of us was gonna drive the truck one of us was gonna drive my car back but I end up paying extra to just get a trailer to um, have my car on the trailer so she ended up not needed to come however when I tried to get the ticket refunded it was like no refunds you can only change it and if you change you got to pay extra $20 so it was like nah bump that so she was like okay I'll, I'll still come so she was really gonna just be more support and then like just help me probably with some ins and outs. But now I'm all alone, feeling real independent or whatever, but at the same time a little scared, you know. Well, I'm not scared, I'm just, I like to have some type of support. Like it don't matter if it's the smallest support ever, just be in there. But anyway, I'ma thug it out. Um. Yeah, so on the way to get, on the way to Walmart, then on the way to get the truck, and then back to my apartment to finish packing up literally just a few things in my bedroom. Everything else is packed. I'll show y'all, it's in the living room, like the whole living room is full. And then I need to clean, like I already know that's gonna break me down because I'm gonna start most likely with my, no, I'm not gonna start with the rabbit's cages, but the rabbit's, cleaning the rabbit's cage is gonna be the, So yeah, I'm gonna start rambling and I'll catch back up with y'all. By the way, this is on my phone. My camera is packed up, you know, to preserve, to keep it safe throughout this move. So y'all just gonna have to bear with me. We'll switch back to the camera once we are in our location. Um, I wish I would've brought my camera so I could just like be recording because I need my phone. But y'all, Shit has gotten chaotic real quick. <laughs> First of all, it's raining. I'm here where the trucks are. Nobody's here. I called the number on the house. They didn't answer, so I called another number I knew, which I thought was my original pickup location. So he was like, okay, let me, let me, you in the right place, let me call the lady. I mean, I am 36 minutes late. I probably was like 30 minutes. No, actually, to be honest, I was 28 minutes late. I'm, I got here at like 9.28. Um, my reservation was at 9, but I didn't think that was going to be a big fucking deal. Okay, the rain is slacking up. Let me turn these fucking windshield up bizarre because they make me... Not to mention, I'm uncomfortable because how, how am I... How am I... I don't... You know what? Bye. All right, so it is many, many, many hours later since y'all seen me um, making my bed. It is a new day from move out day. Today is technically move in day because the movers didn't unpack the stuff until this morning. It is, it's like 4 p.m. A lot has been done. Like I said, the movers came this morning. 
they unloaded the truck stuff was brought in the house stuff was put in the storage room um boxes have been unpacked but not all of them honestly probably not even half of them and i just had to stop because i realized i was <laughs> in the middle of like making over my office and i ain't even show y'all the beginning so as you can see white walls so if you can just imagine four white walls um and then i'm going to show y'all how far i've come this is not like hgtv like you know we just we just making it work so far but it's definitely still a work in progress it's not even halfway done i don't think maybe nah it's still some big stuff so i'm going to start with this wall first of all wait let me fix the light all right so first of all <laughs> i know this is janky damn light okay so just ignore what's going on right here i know it's a little janky and i'm gonna get another curtain but this is my window um if you make your way over here we still got two boxes that need to get unpacked this is my desk area that will be leaving this is my little setup excuse my cup of water because i was thirsty um this is just stuff placed but not actually um you know completed something will be going on the wall make our way to this wall i started this is my accent wall i started it already but this is going to go all the way down um this is my table it's a little janky too don't worry about it this is going to go on the wall right here it's my pegboard with my basically this is going to be my sh packing and shipping station for my business my printers are right here they need to be plugged in i'm currently looking for the plug to that one hope i find it and then that's kind of all that's going on there that's packing peanuts so that's like the packing station this is a super long shelf that once this accent wall is done it's going to go right here in the middle with some decorations and some pictures with the color of my um business kind of thing color if you turn this way we have another white wall that's the door that you use to enter into the office this needs a home right smack dab in the middle of this wall is going to be my bookshelf that's what that is and i'm going to have all my books um right there so that's going to be the focal point of that wall the shelf and decor is going to be the focal point of that wall but that's the accent wall because all of them are white as you can see so i wanted one of them to pop all right and then last but not least you have this wall so this is my closet packed with stuff but not even complete um that's just the beginning of it oh i got my little automatic lights in here shout out to amazon <laughs> but yeah a lot more stuff to go in there that mirror might get mounted right there i know it's a weird place right behind the wall but this whole area if not the whole wall will be taken up by my shelves that will store my inventory so i don't even know if i'm gonna have space with that mirror if not i'm not worried about it it's a super small mirror anyway i might put it at the top horizontally and honestly i know it's not gonna look that great that's just gonna be to um open up the space and reflect more light so yeah i think i'm gonna get my daddy to do that well let me look at the back of it and see if that's possible hmm it's not quite possible considering these d rings are only right here and not over here but trust me baby if anybody can figure it out it's my daddy all right so all right so that's like the empty tour of my office i'm not showing y'all nothing else because it's not like i moved into my own apartment i literally moved in with my daddy so this is my daddy's house he just had this bedroom that i was able to use as my office thank god that was that was lit because my mom's house she didn't have extra room so i wouldn't have no to put my business stuff and once it's done y'all y'all gonna see i really i have so much stuff like I wish I would have showed y'all the truck. It was a 15 foot U-Haul and I had so much shit. And it's like, people keep saying I got so much stuff, but they're not 
count like they're not realizing that okay some of it a, a huge chunk of it is my business stuff and that's why i needed this office but i'm so excited about this wall like i need to order the whole sheet that i ordered was enough to cover the top half so i need to order one more and cover the body half but it's gonna be so cute a cute little background so that's it um i think that's gonna be the only thing for this vlog let me check my notes because a lot has happened and i'm in i'm not even in my notes why can i go to my pictures let's see real quick before i go i do want to show y'all the little home my daddy built for my rabbits um I don't know if y'all know before, but before they was just kind of living in a exercise playpen that's like made for dogs to go outside and run around. But I'm gonna show y'all real quick what my daddy um, made for him. And then that's going to conclude the vlog, but I'll close it out. Okay, at first I didn't want to disturb Max because as y'all just saw, he was sleeping. But he, he noticed me. <laughs> so, I know it's looking real country, real janky. It's a rake in progress, but the rabbits have ample amount of space to run around. So, that's great. This is their litter box. And that's like kind of a little hidey house that we got to do some work to. And yeah, my daddy planned on putting real plants out here. Why? I don't know, but yeah, that's that. All right, y'all. So I'm going to close this vlog out. Um, I planned on actually doing like a part where I sat down and like expressed how I'm feeling about moving back home, but I'm going to make this part one and I'm going to sit and have that talk, have that sit and uh, what? Have that sit sit down and talk moment in part two part two i will show y'all most likely the completed office because i don't think it's gonna take that long um at the rate that me and my daddy has been doing stuff and then i'm also going to show you me organizing my um honestly my daddy house period but the first thing i'm going to do is tackle the drawers in my in the bathroom that i use because child it's two drawers in there and they look like junk drawers. So that's coming up in part two, so y'all stay tuned.